Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. This is familiar. A world isn't home without water. Wonder what it's like on Eos when it rains. We do our job, someone will see it. Makes you want to sail across, doesn't it?
It's admirable you kept trying. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Undocumented mineral nearby, Pathfinder. I wonder what's down there. Well, I guess it's a step closer.
I knew it was a long shot, but I still held hope she was alive. All we can do is turn this into Pedromos, like she wanted. Looks like that did it.
Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Welcome back. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Have you talked to Jar much? Oh yeah, Fetty swear words. Really? That's what you are? Strike team ready for deployment. A completely different tech base, and you start there. You want to talk shop? Talk shop. I want to know. Ah.
system looks mostly unexplored. It was charted. Once. Then the scourge happened. What's old is new. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Getting a scan. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Getting a scan. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Satellite detected. One day that might be true again. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Got a reading from the asteroid belt.
Sometimes I forget how small we are. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly on sensors. Pro 
Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Take her down, Kahlo. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6, vold to the Angari, is ice. And those oceans, frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Sylvie wasn't kidding about the cold. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Good place for a secret hideout. Snow and ice camouflages everything. Step carefully. Ice and darkness. Deadly combination. This is an impressive setup. A functional base on an ice mountain. We're a strong people who are only momentarily burnt. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Life support at 100%. What 
is it? You're that alien they've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Shouldn't you be talking to the commander? I'm not sure which question I should answer first. How about none of them? I simply wanted to express my surprise that someone was in my way. The commander said the alien wanted to help, but we need it. The emergency caches, maybe. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Distance. Olisk is in charge of requisitions. We should speak with him. Jarl, have you come back to us? Briefly. And these must be the strangers I've heard so much about. You know, if not for Jarl, I might kill you. <laughs> this is my friend, Maze. She helps supply the resistance. That must be difficult out here. Jarl's the brave one. Are you selling anything we could use? I have almost nothing left. What I do have, we need if we're going to stand any chance against the Ket. Maybe if you clear that Ket station on the south road, I'd be able to bring in more and, and spare something for you. Good luck and stay safe. Just make sure you return Jarl to us. These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder. Good to see you again, Commander Dalziel. And you, Jarl. This is the alien. The one you think can help us. Yes. This is Ryder, of the Andromeda Initiative. I am Anyik Dalziel. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. Totally understood. Everyone wants the stars to keep shining, right? We're in agreement, then. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts, who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Jarl, watch them. And be careful yourself, my friend. Hmm. I always am. Hold. 
and sisters in the field. We don't win a war without good organization. Wonder what all the blinky lights are. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Darby Cars, Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time, as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Techix, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the Ked have occupied. You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angora who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the Ked are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ked camps. The Ked know this and use it against us. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. They all say the same thing. The Resistance is missing supplies. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. <laughs> it's... Good to be back. I have friends here. Let's try to make a good first impression. Life support at 100%. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam, what's Volt got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Cat installations. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it? Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Can you even see through this snow? Trust me. <clears throat> Follow the lights, Ryder.
temperatures back to normal. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Corners a little poorly, doesn't it? Your undocumented mineral nearby, Pathfinder. Continuing to fall. How's your sister? Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. Ryder has a name. You named it? How'd you even tell them apart? Stars, Beniska, just stop talking. Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I want to prove I'm here as an ally. That means fighting Ket. Head in any direction and you'll hit Ket eventually. They're all over Vold. Like Quirts, but with guns. We've heard reports about captured Angar in a Ket labor camp down in the valley. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave. We're watching you. Life support restored. on your sensors. The temperature's gonna drop.
Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Our histories say there were once flower meadows on Vold. Colors. Ijara is a research station, mostly focusing on Vold's geology. Let's see if someone here needs help. Nothing like the cat. I wouldn't want them as an enemy. They're a tough bunch. I and many others have never known a world without cat. The resistance fights so our children may one day be free. I'm reading a normal oh, temperature deep. range, Pathfinder. We can't get deep enough to take a proper sample. Life support at 100%. Why? We would have finished days ago. Try asking Someone said about they saw an alien arrive at the resistance base. Is there something I can do? Maybe. I didn't think you'd be familiar with our machines. Oh, I need to take a break before I kill someone. If you want, feel free to poke around. High powered communications array. Most likely for planet wide communications. Makes sense. Anything on that interference the researcher talked about? I am detecting a signal. It is faint, but this equipment is sensitive. Pathfinder, I also observe a regular pattern in this emitted signal. It may be artificial. You don't mean... Cat? Are you saying the Cat are disrupting our comms? We must look into this. an entire Ket base. You're that alien people have been talking about. Some say we can't trust you. But if you're here to fight Ket, that's good enough for me. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Ket kill people. They take our families and we never see them again. Anyone who fights against that has to be better than them. So, will you fight them? I know the location of the labor camp where they took my uncle. I'll get your uncle. Here's the nav point of the labor camp. Please hurry. Nilge may not have much time. Chandler, I'm pretty sure this is the alien. We heard reports. By the scourge. Can't imagine anything the here interesting. The top layer is Just different. exploring to familiarize myself, or see if someone needs help. Try Skiot if you haven't already spoken to him. He's been looking for someone to help him. Now, is there anything you need from me? What are you doing with this giant block of ice? That was cut out from below Hijara. We're right above an inland sea, and the ice goes deep. Very deep. Everything under the first layer was perfectly preserved from a time before the Scourge. There's a lot we can learn from the composition of the deeper layers. Microbes, ancient life forms, all untouched by the Scourge. I won't disturb your work. Only the cat showed us the same courtesy. I, I hear the researchers here drill into the ice in order to study it. Someone around here probably knows what that ice is for. Now I'm thinking about that one job I did, drilling for Ezo on an ice planet. The numbers check out. I, I don't know what else I can do to strengthen my argument. I... Oh, hello. You're that rider alien everyone's talking about. What can I do for you? You said something about ice talkers? What are those? 
Oh, that's something of a joke between me, journalists, and everyone who went to school with us in Australia. One of our classmates was at an old archaeological dig and thought he heard a voice through the ice. Two months later, another group claimed they heard the same thing, an angry voice. What was it? Too much Malay. That's what journalist says. Now it's become something of a joke between us. This isn't Haval. You spend too long out there in the dark, you'll get weak, sick, or worse. It's bad. I get it. How do I stay alive? The moment you see sunlight, break cover. Soak up all the rays you can. I'll be a target. Not for long. You'll get a lot from just five minutes of exposure. After that, get back undercover. The human is listening to us. You here to learn survival tips from old Percy? You sound like an expert, and I'd like to survive. What I can teach wouldn't help. Different biology. Your body can't store a charge. Good luck out there. I'm ready to go, Pussy. Not so fast. You still don't know how to read a weather pattern. Found an abandoned. I sent a team to look at that architect. Good. Well, Make I haven't sure seen many of your kind around here, be but I've heard lots about the Pathfinder from my friends on Aya. All good things, I hope. So far. Do you get much business out here? I do all right. The trick is to not stay in one place too long. I travel between here and Techix. Sometimes they even make it up to the resistance camp. Isn't that dangerous with the cat all around? I've had a few close calls, but they haven't caught me yet. The stars are on my side. I'll take a look at your stock. Got plenty of supplies. There was an alien lurking about the place. Don't try to start something. We're all combat trained by the resistance and prepared to die. And try not to disturb our data probes. Our research is valuable, though it may not mean much to you. What's your focus out here? Glacial movement, seismology, climate, anything Aya needs from us. Resources are tight, so our scientists know a bit of everything. That way, we are prepared for anything. Are you in charge here? Lead researcher. Worked as a seismologist on Aya before I volunteered for Hijara. You volunteered? We all did. Aya is fine, but all that green gets boring. I can't speak for the rest, but I came here for the adventure. So far, Vold has lived up to my expectations. Always a new mountain to scale. How long has the station been around? Only a few years. This used to be Ket territory before the Resistance pushed them out. We've discovered a wealth of resources the Ket protected out here. Metals, minerals, even a new species of edible cold-weather fungus. All that was hidden under the ice? And more. We've only scratched the surface. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. <laughs> 